Hello everyone and welcome back to Mayo and Taxes, the Brandenburg campaign. Uh, something I noticed in between episodes that I'm very glad I did before I declared war, is it's actually a level 3 fort, because it has two levels of local fortification. Uh, now the problem with that is, level 3 forts take 3, sorry, because it has 2 from that and 1 from the capital. Level 3 forts take 6 men to siege, so we're going to need mercenary, uh, not mercenary, but uh, noble troops to be able to actually siege these down. But that shouldn't be a problem. We're going to demand uh, some support from them. Now, if we were to offer you favors, magnificent gift. It only costs 47, that's not that bad. You might want to offer some, some gifts, but for now I'm gonna keep the war chest. Well, that's so cheap that I might do it straight away. Yeah, let's do that straight away. Uh, but for the others, we're gonna keep it, uh, the stuff for ourselves. And let's do this thing. We're going to get our morale back up. It's going to make the war pretty attrition heavy, that these level 3 forts. Uh, the death of Pedro I. Trastamara has inherited Castile. And there we go. Back in unified into Castile again. Okay. Ready? No, not quite. Almost there. Do -do -do. New idea time. Good timing. Bit more fort defense. Or we'll keep saying for the uh, tech. 0.25 land morale is huge, considering the total morale is only 0.15. I'd rather get these, though, because every military idea you get makes it cheaper. Less than the base game. In the base game, it's 1%. In this game, it's... Uh, well, you can work it out. 0.28. And we've got 4. So... What is that? 28. I should be able to do this much quicker than I can. Five, seven, point seven, right? I'm just gonna check. It's twenty-eight divided by seven. Four. Point four? No, that can't be right. Anyway, the uh, more ideas you have, the cheaper tech is. So it's more efficient to spend the points on this first. Plus, we got fort maintenance and fort defense are up here. And we can go keep going towards that uh, extra diplo rep and all that good stuff. So one more monthly tick. And there's that. Good. Uh, what have I got my auto saves on? Yearly. No, 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 no. This is, uh, this is Mayo and Taxes. It crashes. It's gone half a year. Okay. Uh, no difference, of course. He's over with the Pope. All right. Neither of you are Imperial cities, are you? No. Good. Now, do I want to full call this guy? We could annex both of them. <clears throat> this one will be unlawful territory if we did annex it. Uh, and if we called him, we'd have to fight Magdeburg. Wait. That's also Magdeburg. Didn't spot that. Okay, in that case, maybe we hire another general, which we can't afford. We could demand a general of merit. 25 tradition. But we're also going to be wanting to get troops out of these guys. If we split and three go down here, these are plains. River crossing? Yes, river crossing. I think we stay consolidated, go down here, and hope R5 can beat their three when these two consolidate. There's a smaller fort down here as well. Do we want to take this province? Because Bohemia might demand it back. Let's improve relations with Bohemia. We'll keep improving relations with Bohemia throughout the war. And hopefully, uh, hopefully they won't. You don't need to bribe me, man. Oh, I actually am not voting for them. <laughs> That's why they're trying to bribe me. So we're almost winning the election right now. Bohemia is actually voting for us. Of course, they'd vote for themselves if they had a son. Uh, so if we were to improve relations with, like... It is the Palatinate these guys, these guys reform into. That's right. Or maybe Saxony. We could marry Saxony. We're at the Diplo limit right now, though. I'd rather not exceed it. Yeah, if we married and then tried to, you know, sweeten Saxony onto our side, we could get the, elector, uh, the uh, Empire title if this guy dies airless. If he does get an heir, he'll probably be able to sway people to his side because he's very powerful. And, uh, Diplo rep and all that good stuff. D does he actually have good Diplo rep? No, he actually doesn't. He can afford Diplo rep advisors, unlike us, though. All right, let's go to war. Not for calling Ripon. Let's do this thing. Charge in. Into the farmlands. Looting policy. Now, if you haven't played Mayo Texas, you know, I said I wasn't going to explain everything as we went along. Maybe I am. <laughs> Looting uh, is a very, very important feature of this game. As you attack people, 
uh, and siege down their provinces, you have a chance of down destroying buildings, stealing local wealth, and uh, generally causing devastation in the area. I'm going to restrict looting rather than heavily restrict looting. So we get some more discipline, but the, the morale of armies debuff from heavily restricting looting, it just sucks. Alright, and also if you do, let's, let's heavily restrict it, we're going to get loads of, uh, loads of discipline out of this. We do have some uh, lower morale from, uh, from this, which does hurt. Development level also hurting, they'll also be primitive though. Actually, that's probably not true. I bet Magdeburg doesn't have a primitive development level. Uh, but yeah, the, the discipline bonus is very nice. Extra 5% of that. They're actually going to be able to get away? 31st first. Really? Hmm. Can we catch these guys? Let's catch them instead then. Yeah. Those guys have gone up there. Hmm, bad idea. Okay, the first mighty battle has engaged. Obviously, we should be able to trash them. They have more morale because they have... They're very fanatic. And they have high army tradition. What the heck? Plus 6.7 from army tradition? That's absurd. Oh, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. That means they have like 30. But still, 30 army tradition. It's pretty high. So, obviously, easy stack wipe there. Let's catch these guys in Rupin, hopefully. No, they're going to make it up there. No, they're not. They changed direction at the last minute, and it was their undoing. But there is going to be a big fight here. Okay, so we've got lower morale than them. Uh, but we have more discipline. We've got more men. I think we should be fine. Mm, they have a good fire general, but most of the damage in this stage of the game, in fact, almost all the damage, is done in the uh, in the shock phase. There, as you can see, five times more damage in the shock than fire phase on infantry right now. So these guys are obviously going to keep training more men. Right, we should uh, tribal disunity. Ooh, the White Horde has died. The death of the Khan has thrown our tribes into chaos. Having failed to keep the tribes unified, a pretender has seized the throne and proclaimed himself Khan. So uh, they get chaos, and the Blue Horde gets released. Cool. Du -du -du. We need to get the estate troops. Offensive war support. I would like partial support because it's actually the same. And partial support. And, yeah, let's demand a general of merit. Try and get a better guy. There we go. Look at him. 4221. I know what I said shock is more important, which it is, but all that siege and stuff, very helpful. I imagine these are their estate troops, and my plan is essentially to roam around, continuing to kill them until basically they stop training men uh, before I start sieging, because we can't carpet siege right now. Ooh. Let's, uh, let's whack the good general over here, because we're locked into that one now. We can go and stack quite these guys. <clears throat> Are we going to win this? I think we might. Yeah, good. Two to one odds, very difficult to overcome. Darn, they did get a morale tick before we arrived, which is unfortunate. But, you know, what are you going to do? So, I really hope Bohemia doesn't demand this province office. That could be disastrous if they dislike us enough to demand this office. It's not a great province to take, to be honest. But uh, I think at the moment, we pretty much take what we can get. So which way are they going to go? North or south? North or south? North. Cool. We are not going to get there before the end of the month, sadly. So we may, be able to, we may fail to stack wipe them yet again. Let's, uh, let's put these guys here. And then uh, stand here. Let's go over here. Because um, we can get to this one sooner. Oh, we did get the stack wipe anyway. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's... Like I said, let's consolidate up and just keep keep stack wiping them for a while. Apart from anything else, it's good as training. <laughs> like we're getting army experience out of this. And it costs us very few casualties. If you look at the numbers at the end of this battle, there are, uh, you know, 62 men. No problem. I meant to check the uh, the army experience gain. Army experience? What am I talking about? This is not for. The, a... Uh, uh, army tradition gain. As you can see, we're already up to 17. It's growing pretty quickly. Let's see what we get from this one. Wow, we lost one guy that phase. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's probably a fire phase. If I had to guess. Only 0.2 army tradition that from that one, but, you know, not a bad amount of morale. Morale? <laughs> I, mean, uh, I mean, prestige. Half prestige. Not bad. Mm. 
you know, that's a lot of the year's prestige gain at the moment. Don't want to begin sieging until we've uh, finished fighting them because you take a lot of attrition when you're sieging. And we need our manpower for uh, actually fighting them. And don't look to be training anyone new. So let's go. Let's uh, start with the war goal, which is going to require more or less a full deployment of men. They should be able to... Uh, yeah, once they arrive, we'll take one of the guys out. Now, the problem will come if we get disease outbreaks. Uh, sorry, no, I can't do that. If I could consolidate and remove one of these, then I could. But unfortunately, these are greater noble levies, not halberdiers, which are actually different. No longer have plentiful manpower. So now the question becomes, are we going to be able to win this war before we run out of manpower? And the answer is not obvious. Um, it's going to be... Because if we get some... Uh, uh, bad disease outbreaks, we can get some crazy attrition on this division, like 30% attrition. Okay, they're up to seven. We don't want to have any excess guys standing here. We'll leave some of the noble levies and take out some of the halberdiers, because the noble levies, I think, don't reinforce from our manpower pool. But I'm not certain about that, actually. I should do a test. I shall do a test. Good. No disease outbreak. A disease outbreak happens when you roll a natural zero. No, that's not true. They've changed it. It's now an end-of-monthly tick option because you can get the uh, feet siege phase down to such ridiculously short things in this uh, in this mod. When the, when the province has like really high autonomy and the enemy is bankrupt or something, it, it becomes ridiculous. You can get one-day ticks. It's fantastic. Sieges progress like nobody's business. I guess that's something in our future with the uh, the glorious glorious military ideas that we have to come. We're getting uh, where is it? logistics gives you a bunch of siege ability, yeah, and more artillery bonus versus fort. I'm looking forward to building building space marines in this mod. It's gonna be fun. Hey, back up to zero finally. It's all right. It's 150 to get to to one, not 100. I'm sorry. And there we go. Yes, I was right. Death of Caramez. It does go to Hungary. So Hungary now has Poland as a junior partner. I imagine that won't last very long. Poland's probably gonna be a bit uh, a bit liberty desiring. Yeah, 100% liberty desire. Uh, Hungary is probably going to just release them. It's my guess. Knowing that they don't want to fight Poland with their vassals and everything. Hmm. Interesting. I thought Moldova started as a vassal of Poland. But actually, they're a march under Hungary now. Maybe that's part of the event chain concerning Poland breaking free. They actually seize Mazovia. All right. There's our first attrition. First disease outbreak. And you can see... Uh, where is it? There used to be a province modifier called Disease Outbreak that appeared on here, but I guess they've removed that. No! I was right. It wasn't just I just hadn't calculated it yet. They still haven't got all these silly urban population modifiers showing on here. I wouldn't mind if they if you could turn them off. Like they're, they're really useful to have as an optional feature, but there's absolutely no way to turn them off. As far as I can tell. If I'm wrong, please tell me. State war contributions, great. The estates pay, as far as I know, uh, precisely the amount that you know you need them to pay in order to actually cover the uh, upkeep of their units. But that doesn't sound right. They give us 1.5. They cost 0.23 per month. Yeah, no, that is about right, actually. It's probably exactly right, but, you know, not confident enough in my maths to say that. <laughs> you can see our manpower's going down, and we gain so little manpower. There's the siege. Nice. Now, do we want to take Rupin? The Emperor does like us. And there's the loot pool. Got 17 ducats of loot. So if we take... Let's see, what's the what's the aggressive expansion from, from Mecklenburg? It's not going to be inconsiderate because we're in the HRE and it's a big province. 37! Holy hell. All right, we're not going to take Rupin, that's for sure. But we should probably finish off Magdeburg. Take this little province here. It's in one of our states, isn't it? No, it's actually not. It's in southern Saxony. Uh... How big is Southern Saxony? Pretty big. But this is this is land that we're going to want to take. Because uh, Dresden is a city. This place uh, is also a city. So. Actually, a couple of cities here. So we're probably going to want to take this area. So I don't feel bad about taking this. Because we're going to need the, the state. This isn't, a, this isn't a city. So I don't feel too bad about not taking that. So this is probably the peace deal that we're after. 46. Maybe we don't take this. Maybe we don't want to take... Aggressive expansion that doesn't really serve much purpose. 
because it's not a city, it's just a little grassy thing. Plus, keeping a little grassy thing. A little uh, rural area, is what I meant. <laughs> uh, yeah, and most of the value in this game comes from the comes from the cities. Maybe we just take Magdeburg. I do think we want to siege down Rupin. Uh, because then we can take money and war eps. We could also vassalize them. That doesn't cause much aggressive expansion. But we are, again, at our relation limit. Maybe I should have kept some relation limits open for uh, vassals. But end rivalry to get some prestige. Yeah. I think we're just going to do a prestige gaining exercise. Need some enforced military access. No. Can't transfer trade power. If we didn't take money, we could transfer trade power. Which is more prestigious. They are in the right node. We do have a certain amount of urban population. Why isn't Havland and Middlemark showing as having urban pop? That's right, it shows urban pop, but not on an area that actually has urban population numbers. It just it's just for showing the uh, the partial ones. One one pop in these numbers, in case you don't know, is ten thousand. Do I want to siege this down? <clears throat> it's just for money and a bit of prestige. And we could already just white piece them out. I would like to get some money off them. Of course, some inflation, though. Fair amount, because we're poor. 0.2. I am going to piece them out. Because I don't want to spend the money nor the manpower of dragging this war out. So let's do this. You'll give me this. You'll give up your claims. I want a nice long peace deal because I don't plan to fight them again. So break your alliance. Oh, actually, these are more effective in terms of prestige to, uh, to war score ratios. As is this. So enforce military access. I believe I can just cancel immediately. I think I can. I don't want to put myself over the Diplo limit. So let's not risk it. Let's just give there. Cancel that. Give us Magdeburg. His war reps give us 50 gold. Good. So those war indemnities actually covered the entire... Uh, we choose this all as well. If many of their men die, then the, uh, the estates get mad. So there. Instant territorial core, which is fantastic. Uh, it's also East Elbion, which, you know, I hear we used to like that culture. But tragically, something happened. Conquer Magdeburg. Put him on prestige. Great. We get more manpower, more prestige, efficient integration, and we get territorial core. Beautiful. Become Emperor or the Pomeranian Succession. Succession? Succession. Well, we definitely do want to do this. Get all those free territorial cores. That would be lovely. But uh, I'm not convinced that's something we can do in a hurry. So maybe we don't take it right now. Because, uh, you know, aggressive expansion is already 34 with many of these surrounding people. Of course, the Pomeranian area is not as high development as Magdeburg. Let's take a look. Pirates, Stargrad, Kolberg, Balward, and Stolp. Which is these four. Five. Sorry. Yeah, four, three, three, two, three. Right. That's basically like just one more Magdeburg. This whole area is just like one more Magdeburg. Uh, Northern Saxon we already have in a state, so we definitely want to core this. Cool. Ah, which is, of course, instant, because it's a territorial core already. Nice, sufficient integration. Center of production. It's a great province we just picked up. Yeah, I think uh, I think we take this now. Obviously, we're not going to try and become emperor. As fun as that would be, uh, I think it might be out of our reach. But you know, I said that I'm wrong. Really, he might die. Let's let's do it. Let's go over the diplo limit. Let's see if we can get uh, Saxony to vote for us. Uh, sure, we'll take two fifths of the loot. Uh, and yeah, do I take the mission though? <clears throat> 30 sad points are nice but it's so unlikely that we actually accomplish it let's go for being the emperor and go for the Pomeranian succession so there are our claims free claims, great from missions it's getting 49 a month, not really though so we, you know, if he dies right now we become emperor Rupin has joined a trade league of course you freaking have, oh no Rupin's this guy that's fine, led by who sorry, is that Lubick's trade league yeah well, that's not too bad. Like I said, we don't want to waste our aggressive expansion on uh, less valuable provinces. 
So we're over the Diplo limit now. Saxony, have you had a kid? No. How about you, uh, place I can't pronounce? They have. Now, I'd love to break royal marriages with them. Why don't you try, uh... Try talking to the, uh... Try talking to the Pope again. Right, so we still over, uh... We're still over, but I suspect... Once martial law runs out down here, it will no longer be over. Let's keep drilling. Uh, yeah, we are going to try and be, like, you know... True Prussian Brandenburgians. We're going to be super professional. No aggressive narrator nobles demand privileges. Darn it. So, if you're not familiar, the nobles, the estates generally, continually demand privileges. They want to get more and more and more autonomy and freedom and wealth. And they want you to have less and less and less. And we want them to have less and less and less privileges. If we accept, they get plus two unrest in every province owned by the estate. And 20% of the provincial income is further taken by the estate. We definitely don't want that. If we don't do it, we're going to go negative stability again. 60% of the provinces controlled by the greater nobles will gain 20 unrest for 10 years. That's absurd. It's already negative 10 in most provinces, though. It's almost negative 20 in most provinces, though. So, uh, they also lose 14 loyalty. There's no hard cap on loyalty like in vanilla. They just get steadily less loyal, the less, uh, less happy with you they are. Can't do anything with this because there's a pending uh, privilege event. I'm going to refuse, though, because that sucks so much. We only lost one stability. That's good. There was a chance we lose two. Only a 25% uh, to 50 chance, which is 12, 12.5. 12 so not very high, but yeah, they, they dislike us now. Here, have a gift. Give me some stab points back. And uh, lesser nobles. Yeah, let's recheck this now. So we've got separatist rebels in our freaking capital. <laughs> we need to switch our... our uh, our culture back. Oh, we can actually do that now. So if I promote East Elburn, I should then have an option to embrace it. But I'm sure there's an event about this. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to end the episode and I'm going to have a quick look on uh, online about Brandenburgian events. Because I don't want to waste lots of points switching back if we can do it by event. But until the next episode, you know, we've, we've fended off the greater nobles' demand for support. Because they're so influential, it's part of the reason why they lost so much uh, loyalty there. The more powerful the state is the uh, less able to really damage you the, the states become, but also the less able to help you. So, you know, it's, it's part of a toss-up. Generally, you want to move towards centralization and state control. Uh, but there are some disbenefits of doing so. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. I do hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.